Back in July 2023, NASA accidentally sent a command that pointed Voyager 2's antenna slightly away from our planet. When they expected data, they received silence. This small error almost severed humanity's connection with this beloved spacecraft, which has been collecting scientific data since the late 1970s. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory quickly recognized their error. However, in a rush, they mistakenly transmitted the flawed command again. It was a moment of panic. A small deviation of just two degrees meant a significant risk of losing contact. The team decided to send a shout command, instructing Voyager 2 to realign its antenna. They hoped the signal would be strong enough for the probe to receive it, even with the antenna off target. On August 2nd, 2023, they transmitted the highest power signal possible, using the massive 70-meter S-band transmitter at the communication station in Canberra, Australia. This station is part of NASA's deep space network, crucial for communicating with Voyager 2 due to its trajectory. After sending the command, they faced an agonizing wait of 37 hours. This was the time it would take for the signal to reach Voyager 2 and to see if it would respond. Then, on August 3, 2023, at 9.30 p.m. Pacific time, relief washed over them. Contact was re-established. Had their efforts failed, the team would have relied on a single backup option, the onboard flight software's fault protection routine. Designed for safety, these automatic actions could have taken over, providing a last chance to correct the antenna pointing. The Voyagers, now 46 years old, crossed the heliopause in 2012, Voyager 1, ABD 2018, Voyager 2. They are exploring the boundary between the solar wind and interstellar medium, gathering invaluable data. Even during the two-week period without communication, their ongoing scientific studies were unaffected. However, the challenges aren't over. The Voyager probes are aging, and their dwindling power means that they can only keep their scientific instruments running for a few more years. Powering the probes are radioisotope thermoelectric generators, converting heat from plutonium-238 into electricity. As the fuel decays, the team has already turned off the heaters for all scientific instruments to conserve power. In the coming years, instruments like the magnetometer and plasma wave surveyor will be shut down one by one in a strategic plan to prolong interstellar research. As we continue to explore the cosmos, every moment spent with Voyager serves as a reminder to value this incredible mission and the knowledge it brings. Join us in celebrating Voyager 2's journey and the dedicated team behind its success. Subscribe for more Deep Space stories and updates.